The leader of Belarus, Alexander Lukashenko, has accused the West of trying to destabilize his country as he held talks with his main ally, Russia's President Putin. The two men pledged to strengthen their alliance. It follows international condemnation of Belarus for forcing a Ryanair flight to land in order to arrest an opposition journalist. The UK and EU have demanded the immediate release of Roman Protasevich and have banned flights from Belarus while Brussels is threatening to impose economic sanctions. President Lukashenko's Kremlin-backed regime is accused of widespread repression and human rights abuse, as Sarah Rainsford reports from the capital, Minsk. In Belarus, marrying an opposition politician can make for a very lonely life. For a whole year, Olga's only contact with her husband has been these letters from his prison cell. Pavel writes poems for her, long stories for their son. But this week, Olga finally got to see him. And Pavel was still chanting defiance, even in court. The trial had been closed with relatives only let in for the guilty verdict. We weren't allowed close. We could only shout I love you or make heart signs. But even to look at each other was a huge joy. Pavel Severinich is a lifelong dissident. But now three-year-old Franciszek is growing up without his dad. He was arrested before Belarus erupted in protest over the re-election of President Alexander Lukashenko. It's a really long sentence. Franciszek will be 10 when he gets out. But I don't think he'll serve at all. I don't let myself think like that. People here are afraid, but there's real pressure on Lukashenko, and I think any spark could ignite things again. The protesters have been forced to retreat from the streets for now, though. Many have fled abroad. Hundreds more are behind bars. I've never known Belarus like this, not in all the years I've been coming here. People now are just terrified to speak out. Because with the crackdown, with all the arrests, you never know who they'll be coming for next. Last week, they came for the journalists. Vasil was nervous about talking, but his wife was arrested with 14 people in her team at the country's best-known independent news site. Today, he was waiting to hear if Marina had been charged. So is there any news? Anything mm -hmm. new? There are no news. No news? No news. Alexander Lukashenko is crushing dissent here. Maybe. And yet Vasil believes last year's protests were a turning point. In public, nobody demonstrates uh, because it is really dangerous. But the people didn't change their mind. They, are, they need uh, the the change uh, for the country. Change was the rallying cry of the protests here, and some still see glimmers of hope for the future. Sarah Rainsford, BBC News, Minsk.